Today is the last day I own this Z1000. I've had it pretty much since new. Uh, I've had it for 12 years. Absolutely loved this thing. Um, I love the styling. Um, I, I just love the way the whole engine, out, the output of it actually is just so usable. Um, and yeah, it's. I'm, I'm actually quite sad it's going today. Um, um, I've actually had put the original exhaust back on put the original mirrors uh, and I've got the bar ends there I've put on um, it's done 11,000 miles and I got it at I think about 50 something like that and yeah it's uh, that's been a lovely lovely bike I can highly recommend these I, I really can um, and yeah it's <laughs> It's a mixed feelings. Um, the reason I'm selling it, uh, well actually trading it in, is my life is changing. I want to change it and, and do new things. And I used to do a lot of European tours uh, back in the day. Let me just move here. Um, and the Z1000 isn't exactly a touring bike. Um, uh, I got this just before I moved out of London. Um, about a year or so before and yeah yeah this this bike makes perfect sense around cities it, on country roads and stuff like that but when you come to long haul sort of uh, the UK to Germany or UK to France or wherever it's it's not a great bike from a seating position point of view I'm 192 centimeters uh, for all of those of you in uh, uh, old land that's uh, six foot three and a half something like that um, yeah it's uh, I'm a big guy it's a relatively short bike and <laughs> it's more practicalities I if I had the money I would keep it I absolutely would um, uh, it's been a pretty reliable bike uh, I've all I've had to do is oil changes uh, oil filter air filter all the basic service stuff plus uh, a couple of tires um, and a chain um, and yeah it's uh, it's been a, a joy to own. Um, uh, I, I've never dropped it. It's never been dropped. I, have, I put the mushrooms on there, the crushed mushrooms on there. And I'm going to do the same with the new bike I'm getting, uh, just in case. Um, yeah, I, I am going to miss this bike. I really am. Um, uh, it's looking great. I'm actually going to give it a quick wash and just give it all a, a good clean up. Um, the new bike is coming in soon. Uh, some of you may have already seen videos on um, uh, what it might be. Um, but yes, I'm going to only got about. Um, I took it out for a test drive. Awesome. I, I took this out for a ride um, uh, on Saturday. Uh, and yeah, I, I sort of. Just the, the torque levels, the, the way it um, just catapults you so quickly and so effort, effortlessly. Um, I, I think the limit I can do on this in one day is about 250 miles and my back is really starting to hurt. Oh, and the pillion. The actual pillion is tiny. It is absolutely tiny. A friend of mine, uh, James, Jimmy, uh, was on the back of this uh, from Birmingham to Corby uh, many years ago and his bum pretty much came over the back of the tail light and he, he, he's a big big guy but not too big you know he's, an, he's, a, he's he was a uh type guy uh and yeah and it was just too small for him so i think this was designed for small small japanese ladies with their boyfriends at the front or their small japanese boy with his boyfriend at the front or small japanese lady with girlfriend up front who knows um so yeah um it's uh, had a, uh, it's got a couple of issues, nothing's too serious, I've got a couple of stone chips here. This had a tank cover over it pretty much all of its life. Um, uh, there's a couple of little bits of corrosion here, nothing too thing. Um, it did actually spend about six months, five months in a, in a garage with a leaky roof. Uh, it never got wet in, indirectly, but uh, the moisture levels were so high in there and uh, yeah, I'm... Um, I had to replace the roof fairly quickly uh, and I didn't realise actually it had been leaking so um, I'm really going to miss this bike, yeah.
Um, if you're thinking about getting one, oh, go for it. Absolutely go for it. You'll love it. Um, it will it will um, delight you. It's got a lot of character. Um, it's a proper wheelie monster. Oh, my God, yes. Uh, the amount of times I've wheelied this off the lights and kept the wheel about, uh, say, 10, 20 centimetres off the ground and taking off was great. Um, this has been uh, photographed in the Gear Blast group. Um, look it up. Um, yeah, I, I've got a lot of pictures of me on this or of it. So I've got memories. I've got great memories. Um, so I'm going to give it a clean up today. I'm going to uh, then take it to the petrol station to get some fuel because uh, it's a little bit low on fuel. I'll probably put, say, a, a few litres in. And then we're going to um, the dealership. Uh, so this is being traded in. I am losing a little bit more than I really wanted on it. Yeah, yeah, that nearly stopped the deal. I really did. It sort of, but I thought, well, no, this time has come. And at the end of the day, um, uh, the new bike's going to give me a lot more uh, life choices than this. This, this is, yeah, yeah, this is a hooligan bike, and I, I really need something a little bit more uh, cruisery. But even though the new bike is probably actually faster than this and more powerful and more fun in many respects, but but yeah, I'm going to miss this. So well, farewell. Farewell, Z1000, you've been really, really good. I um, thoroughly enjoyed my time with you, all 12 years of it. Well, I'm here at BMW. Uh, ride was pretty uneventful, just nice and easy on that. And I think, in the background, that's the new bike. I'm a bit early, so, right, let's go and say hello. Bye-bye, was lucky. Bye-bye. I'm so going to enjoy this. I really am. <laughs>